Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing a lot of people acting like this these days. NBA, canceled. NHL, canceled. Lack season, canceled. Tom Brady, Tom Hanks, all times, canceled. Spring break, canceled. My life, canceled. I thought 2020 was my year, man. This virus is ruining everything. What's the point of living anymore? We all started the year 2020 with like 2020 vision. I can see clearly now. This is my year. But this is the biggest thing to open our eyes, to show us what's really essential in life. So what is essential? Food, shelter, spending time with family, and the most important thing, your health. This whole washing your hands thing for 40 whole seconds is such a waste of time, bro. I feel like I'm on that one SpongeBob episode. All right, let's see those hands. Now that's thorough. When we really reflect as a society, we have now shifted our attitude from an individualistic kind of thinking to more like collective. Like yeah, everyone's staying home, like protecting themselves in quarantine, but when you really think about it, by staying in quarantine, you're really helping other people by not going out. Being in quarantine means that we have to work as a collective. Well, on the bright side, plane tickets are mad cheap, so who wants to go to Cabo for lunch tomorrow? I'm gonna text up the boys and see what they think. Your parents won't let you because they're afraid? <laughs> What's this world coming to? Well then I guess table for one, Cabo. Literally all we have to do is stay home and sit on the couch. Can you do that? Is it that hard? Like why is it so hard for people to just stay home? There's one thing you have to do, stay home. You can be on your phone, you can use your laptop, you can use whatever, but still people are complaining about quarantine and staying home. Me worried about getting that coronavirus? <laughs> I'm young, I'm healthy, I got nothing to worry about, okay? It's the older people got something to worry about. I'm not gonna get it. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna wanna stop me from partying. See, this guy's got the right idea, because, like, spring break, come on! And now I hear they're talking about canceling Coachella. It's like, just cancel the world, why don't you? It really bugs me how people get like so mad about the virus and how it's affecting their lives when they don't stop to think about how doctors are feeling and like people who work in hospitals. I've been seeing so many pictures that just break my heart. Like these poor nurses, these poor doctors, I can't even begin to like wrap my head around what they must be going through. These doctors and nurses are putting themselves at risk without a choice. If anybody needs our prayers right now, it's them. And yeah, people are still concerned about like Coachella canceling. Like seriously? Now even though this is all going on, I still like to believe that the sky is always blue, but it just depends on how you look at it. In a very literal sense and in many parts of China, the sky is literally blue. For so long there's been so much pollution in China that now it has to stop because of this pandemic and now the skies are blue. I mean to me that's a very positive and eye-opening thing. The sky is supposed to be blue, it's not supposed to be smoke and pollution, but it's because of this virus that we see the truth. So when we connect back to this 2020 vision, collectively as humans, we can look at the way that we were living before this pandemic and make actions for what happens when it's finally over. I do keep on thinking about like what's gonna happen when we do find the cure for the coronavirus or when the curve is finally flattened. You know, like what are we gonna take away? I think we should see the importance of ourselves as a whole unit, not just individuals. We're in this together, we live on the earth together, and I think we can all come to the consensus that our health is the number one thing that's essential for us. But I I feel like this has really taught us that we're being mindful of not only our health, but our neighbor's health. You know, quarantining ourselves so that we don't affect others just in case we have it, you know? We're working together and I think it's something really beautiful in the midst of all this negativity and all these terrible things on the news. This has been something that really makes me feel better about the situation. It's something that we can learn from. And that's the tea. Remember to FaceTime your grandparents, stay safe, stay home, and happy quarantine. Oh, and drink lots of tea. I mean, COD's not canceled, and the babes are Snapchatting back because I feel like they're just bored, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, and food delivery, which support your local businesses. They need you now more than ever.